Hey everyone, it's Tremia, and today's the big day. We're taking... Where is he? He's hiding. There he is. <laughs> yeah. We're taking Buddy to get his surgery. They're gonna remove the fatty tumor on his side, and while he's out, they're gonna clean his teeth. And the funny thing is, getting his teeth clean is going to cost more than removing the tumor. <laughs> so, he's excited he's in the car, yet he has no idea what he's getting ready to get in for. So, wish Buddy luck. Buddy's tumor, you can see that. Okay. Bye-bye, Buddy. I love you. There goes my fur baby and my husband. And if you can see inside there, there's cats everywhere. And uh, they live in there. They're, they're just they're the vet's cats. And um, I'm highly allergic to cats. I mean, I had a severe reaction from the other day. I'm going to take my glasses off. From the other day when we went in there. And it was like when I was little, you know, my eyes, you s probably noticed in the video, my eyes were really pink. And I, my voice, I completely lost my voice that day. And just, oh, you know, just allergies and itching and everything, ta having to take Benadryl. And so with that being said, I, I didn't go in this morning because... Um, I didn't, couldn't take any benefit drill before I go in for the IVIG because they'll be giving me IV Benadryl and I believe some steroids. And, um, but then that brings me to IVIG and me talking about it. Um, IVIG stands for intravenous immunoglobulin. And our immunoglobulins equals antibodies. And this is my understanding that the virus killed out my antibodies. Um, because I was recuperating from the stem cell, my immune system was working wonderfully. Then the virus set in and away went my white blood count. And apparently my immunoglobulins, which they, when they test them, it's your IgG, IgA, IgM, it's those tests. And I didn't know that. <laughs> I just knew that we were looking at my white blood counts. And um, so, like, my antibodies weren't there. And they fight off infections and bacterias. And they also fight off allergies and pet dander. And that is why I had such a severe reaction. Because I'm still not allergy free from this, those cats and that was on Saturday and today's Wednesday and so when we come back and pick Buddy up from the surgery I'm going to go in because I'll be all Benadryl'd up and Solumedrol'd up but um, Dwayne's getting back in the car uh, but the IVIG is it's a blood product um, it's plasma from over 1,000 donors and just to make up one bag and it has to be you know they uh, you know it has to be they check it for AIDS all different kinds of hepatitis just like they would any blood and also it has to be able to fight off viruses and I didn't know that until yesterday when I was researching so Man, I mean, you know that. You know, we, I, when when I when I used to think of a virus, you know, I think of like the common cold, or something. You know, something not so serious as a bacterial infection, but a viral infection, like the one I had, is far worse than any other kind of infection, because there was nothing to fight it off. My body couldn't fight it off medication won't fight it off 
and you know this is what I'm left with my face yes it is looking good and I'm very happy but you know my face should still be that color you know it's not the color it's supposed to be yet and it's still very sensitive my ears are still very sensitive putting lotion I finally got to where I can start putting lotion on but you can see it's kind of reddened it some but I don't do it every day and I'm using the CeraVe it seems to be the least uh, irritating to my skin so we're going in for the IVIG and that will give me it's putting antibodies into my system they're not going to act as my own and they won't stimulate my own system but they'll be there as a protective barrier to fight off any more bacterial infections that might happen in the future. The doctor is running behind. He's still at the hospital and I couldn't set up any longer and um, so they brought me back to a room that has a bed in it and they're let, letting me lay down. So that's pretty good. Doing my IV IG treatment and I um, guess about two and a half. They gave me Benadryl and 60 milligrams of Solium Mandrol as pre treatment. And I was doing fine, but I guess it's been about two and a half hours. And I started itching again, so they just gave me some more Benadryl. But it's pretty nice back here. I mean, the, the recliners are real nice. And there's a TV right next to me. And there's my medicine. And that little round bottle is the IVIG, the plasma product. And I thought I was doing good. And then I found out that's only the first bottle. <laughs> Yeah, there's three bottles and don't know what we're going to do because it's already at 310 and um, we were it, it took us the doctor is three hours behind and so you know I stayed in that room laying down for the first three hours so I could have already had like an extra three hours of treatment but I understand him he was at the hospital, and when a patient needs a doctor's help, you know, they need a doctor's help, and I respect that, but i got two more bottles to go, and I don't think it's going to happen by 5 o'clock, and that's how long they stay as long as they have to, but 5 o'clock is the normal hours. There's poor buddy's incision. He'll get his stitches out in... 10 days. My poor baby. Well, Buddy and I, we survived it through the day. It was hard. Um, my, I had to be at the doctor at 8.45 and he didn't make it back to his office until 11.45. So, thank God they had that bed waiting and that I could lay in it, but then sitting up all day. I'm just completely worn out. And that picture <laughs> looks so crooked, but it's not. It's how I'm sitting because I'm leaning up against my headboard. <laughs> Try to make the picture straight. See, there, that's straight. But, um, buddy, he's doing fine. They gave him pain medicine. But, like, when he tries to lay down, he whimpers a little. And that just breaks my heart because he's never had anything, any sickness or, well, he's had a sickness once, but uh, twice. <laughs> but he's all, had a pretty carefree little life and I just hate it. But they said it was just a fatty, fatty tumor, nothing to worry about. And um, I have to go back December 14th for my next IVIG. And he said it would take about three to four months for me to start feeling better. So let's believe for less than three to four months. My time is up, and I'll see you guys in the next video.